five o'clock. It's Friday. We made it another week. I'm feeling great. Uh, really happy to do the toast today. Uh, what are we toasting? We're toasting all of the likes, the shares, the comments um, that you guys are all going to do to make sure that this toast doesn't go to waste. And I did promise to do some things that were a little bit unique. Um, now, it is not difficult to find a treasure trove of craft breweries that three people know about and their distribution is five blocks. But um, we're going a little bit bigger on distribution today and something just as unique. So hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully I enjoy it. Um, we have something from our friend at, uh, friends at Budweiser. This is Nitro Reserve Gold. So pretty unique, right? Nitro and beer. We know nitro and coffee is good. What about in beer? Um, so this comes in a can. Um, St. Louis, Missouri, Anheuser-Busch. Sorry about that. Didn't want to, didn't want to turn the lights off on you. But uh, so here we are. Special instructions. So we got a can. We don't drink it out of the can. Okay. Can't stress that enough. Do not drink this straight from the can. You need a beer clean glass. Here's what we do. All right, we take our can, we look at it, it's nice and cold. We do something that we usually don't do with beer, right? That's one, two, three, and we open it. That looks good, ready? Straight upside down. Sorry, my hand's blocking that there for a little bit. There we go, look at this. Foam, try to get it right up to the rim there. Boom, now we wait. Look at how that poured. Is that amazing? I mean, it looks great. It, it says nitro gold. It is gold. It is definitely gold. And that's not the sun coming through it all the way. Although it is, I mean, you can see through. But um, look at that. Doesn't, it doesn't smell like traditional Budweiser, that's for sure. When they said reserve gold, this is definitely not your normal Bud. It's definitely not Bud Light. It smells like a lot of caramel. Ooh, that's surprisingly smooth. Yeah. It's uh, got a, a very um, caramel forward. There's not a lot of bitterness, so you're not really getting a lot of hops out of this, but it is very smooth, creamy beer. Uh, it's actually not bad at all. I'm glad I tried it. Yeah, you know what? If, if you're uh, over 21, okay to drink, not going to drive, um, I would try this too. I, I actually like it. It is uh, very unique. It is still, uh, you know, obviously it's the Budweiser brand and name, but uh, this is definitely not the Budweiser, um, you know, that you would have at a sporting event or, um, you know, just your normal, you know, boating type trip. This is, this is actually a pretty high quality product. I am impressed uh, from the perspective of that, not only did Budweiser put this out and uh, they took a pretty new technology and added it to the beer. Uh, in the form of nitro so yeah you know if you can give it a try i i have definitely i'm appreciating this and uh, from what i understand my friends at budweiser said that it is not limited edition so you can go out and grab this even though it does say um you know again nitro reserve gold so pretty uh, pretty unique uh I, actually i really liked it again the, you know the caramel malt you know it's very it got that toasted type sweetness it, um, trying to look here to see, I mean, it does say golden lager, extra smooth, check and check, that is definitely true. Um, trying to see if we have a alcohol percentage on here. It's five, oops, sorry about that. It is 5%, so pretty good for, you know, for an American beer. Some protein in here, 15 carbs, 12 ounces, uh, 167 calories. Good, try it. And that's what the happy hour is about, trying some new stuff, 
celebrating another week and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to see you again here soon. And uh, until then, cheers. <laughs>